so we just got to Bratislava and uh, we're gonna go to the castle hopefully so let's do that all right so to get to the central I recommend taking a bus don't use those really expensive services it's about a year and 41 cents we're just taking it right now How's it going guys? So we actually got this really good accommodation in uh, Palace Apartments. It's really really cheap. We paid £80 per night but as you can see we've got a king size bed here and then upstairs there's two more beds so we paid about £30 per person and it's in central Bratislava so it's really really good. We're gonna try some traditional food here and uh, it's actually a brewery so it's gonna be interesting. Thank you. Super nice as well. Cafe. Uh, cafe. Oh my god, this is crazy. This looks also freaking amazing. So good. By the way, look behind us. Oh my god. We just ordered honey wine. Oh my god, it's so good. It's freaking nice. You just warm up really well here. It's great. To get a bit outside the central area you can go to the ufo tower right there it's pretty cool and uh, you can also dine in there so much fun and if you have some more time as well you can walk up the stairs all right so we made it to the top there's this bradley style castle behind me and not much to see here but the view behind me is actually really really freaking amazing of the whole city here you see the bridge the ufo tower another bridge there all those lights there is the main church there so if you've got some spare time before heading home i highly recommend this place as well especially in the evening it's quite cool here we actually found a way to get in so it's actually open there are huge lights here they're like stadium lights so even if it's night and really dark you have a really cool view of the castle come up here in the evening it's very cool now guys we're gonna go home we're gonna go to our accommodation so we got some tofai white wine and sausage and this amazing freaking pancake i did it fun here in the presidential palace just behind me it took just about under 10 minutes to get here from central Bratislava it's really really close really nice looking palace it's got just a few little details at the top there as you can see there are a few statues there really cool design and these are the guards they are just standing there We're getting close to having statues. That's the top of the tower. Really cool, we made it. It, uh, it took about 25 minutes, I think, in total from Central. But you can also take the bus, which is uh, more comfortable, I guess. But we enjoyed uh, the walk. By the way, the statue here is a memorial for the Second World War soldiers who died during uh, a German attack, I believe. So yeah, it's a bit of history here. Yeah. 
And by the way, just a few minutes away from there, there is a freaking blue church. Here it is. A really cool, cute blue church here. Uh, really nice. In front of us here. Yeah. Okay, so let's try these um, amazing Bratislava rolls. They look like these are really traditional pastries. Let's give it a go. They're really, really dry. Uh, they've got quite funny shapes. It's like a half moon thing. Our time in Bratislava is pretty much finished. We are getting to the bus station to get a fixed bus to Vienna, which is just about an hour and a half by bus. Just a quick tip guys, if you come to bus station, most S&P to get to Vienna, there is no fixed bus sign. So you just need to look for this stop here. Stop H, that's the one that basically goes to Vienna. And as you can see behind me, we finally just arrived. We're going to Vienna now, let's do it. <laughs> 